So why I chose to go on a mission, it actually started when I was 16 years old. I was at a girls camp and some return sister missionaries came by and they were like, if you've ever thought about going on a mission, you probably should go on a mission. And I was like, no, like I don't want to go on a mission, like not at all. I want to get married, I want to have a family, like that's for the old, like ugly sisters, like I'm not doing that. And so then later that summer there was a knock on my door and I went to the door and there was an elder standing there and he was on exchanges with one of my friends from high school. And I was 16 at the time so I opened up the door and they're like, hey, we're thirsty, can we get a drink of water? And I was like, yeah, sure, come on in. So they came on in and my um, dad was there so it was okay, they were being obedient. And so they're getting some water and they're like, so we have this idea, this proposal that we have for you. And I was like, okay, what is it? And I did grow up in Utah and so it was crowded with Mormons. So it's kind of rare to have missionaries just like show up on your door. And they're like, we want you to start a missionary night. And I was like, a missionary night? Like, go into detail about that. And they're like, well, what it is, is you would invite all your friends over on Sunday night. We would teach the lessons. And um, you'd invite non-members, members, just whoever to your house. And I was like, okay, this is not going to work. We're in Utah. And they're like, just have a little bit of faith, Maddie. Like, it will be okay. And I was like, okay, I'll have a little bit of faith. And so they're like, okay, we'll be at your house Sunday at 7.30. So I was like, okay, see you at Sunday, 7.30. And like my parents knew this was happening and they're like, so have you prayed about it? Have you like told anyone about it? I was like, well, I'll text people Saturday about it, but like, I don't think anybody's really gonna come. Like, I know my best friend's coming and she's a member, but like, we'll have one person that can just teach us. And my mom's like, okay, we'll pray about it. So I just prayed it and it was probably the most like not faithful build prayer whatsoever. I was like, Heavenly Father, if you want this to happen, like, send people over, but I really don't think this is going to happen. So uh, that Sunday came, and missionaries are always late. So 7.30 rolls around, they didn't show up, and there was no knock on the door. 7.45 rolls around, there was a knock on the door, and I was like, well, here's the missionaries, it's me and my family. I tried, I sent, I invited, like, I did what I could. And I opened the door, not only were the missionaries standing there, but there was about 30 of my friends standing there too. And then for the next two years, we taught the missionary to Discussions in my house and that really like started my desire like of missionary work and towards the end of that I was going off to college and my friends were like so are you gonna go on a mission when you're 21 and I was like honestly I did my mission I did two years of inviting people to this every Sunday night and a lot of my friends who were less active were activated a lot of people went on missions some people even got baptized from it I was like I definitely did my mission like I don't need to do it anymore so then a year later no, it was about, no, it was later that summer. I was talking to my bishop and just trying to figure out life because it was at that point where I really needed to figure out like a career path and everything. And my bishop was like, Maddie, I've never been prompted to say this to any sister before, but I feel strongly you need to start preparing for a mission. And I was like, Bishop, like I still have like three more years before I can even go on a mission. Like this is crazy. But like I knew what he said was true and I knew I needed to start like preparing and just at least getting my life in order. So I started going to the temple and at least trying to read my scriptures daily, it didn't always happen, but at least like trying to be a lot better and like praying and being better because I, before that, I didn't really do it at all. And so I started doing that and then the next year, um, I was still trying to figure out life, just kind of feeling lost and not with the direction in life. And um, I'd been praying and fasting about what to do and my answer kept being wait till conference weekend. And I remember telling my dad just a few weeks earlier because all my guy friends had just left on missions and so I was like at that stage trying to meet new friends and like not being close to any of those friends. And so then after that um, what happened was um, I prayed about it and it was wait till conference weekend and I was at work and I was at work when the age change happened and I knew immediately that's what I needed to do. So I started my paperwork and got called to the Atlanta North Mission and served a wonderful mission.